Time for another news and update video, let's go. So, uh, by the time that you're watching this video, the update for Jua should be tomorrow, and that's when I'll do the video on it, covering um, probably the battle pass and whatever else is available, because I assume all the other creatures will be locked to a specific zone that I cannot obtain, and everything else is an event exclusive. So, yeah, I'll just cover what I can in that update. Disney Heroes is also updating, adding two characters from Sleeping Beauty, the, the main couple. Um, honestly, Aurora's skill is really funny. Can't wait to up- that'll be on the same day as the Jua update, so look for that tomorrow as well. Actually, today I'm gonna be making a video with Indominus and Orca on, uh, well, the- uh, you'll find out on his channel in probably a week's time. Hope you enjoyed the crazy amount of Sodor's dinosaurs that came out this month, because, uh, gonna step back from that for a while and let some other content get some get, get a chance to like upload a lot I think movies United is probably going to be uploaded a lot more like starting this but we got I know I have at least three new episodes ready for like three like as in three re version two episodes I, I remade episodes two three and four and they're finally ready to be uploaded and then I have a bunch of other epi I, I I could do the other remake episodes, I have footage for them, but I decided I'll upload because I realized that in this, from what I, from the time I am in Zane Reborn 2, a lot of people actually haven't seen Movies United, at least because I think the majority of the people who watch my videos now are not the same people who watched like, well, I, well actually most of them are probably the same people, but then there are also quite a few new people who haven't seen any of that. Uh, Space Raptors is probably the most obvious one, as it looks like every video I upload is a new video to him, even though most of them are re-uploads. So, uh, I have to, so I guess I will re-upload the, uh, original episode, the episodes of Movies United first. So after I do, I re-up, I do the, the new episodes of episodes 2, 3, and 4, then I'll start re-uploading, uh, past episodes of Movies United from where I left off. And since there are so many episodes, and they're not restricted to time, like Sword of Dinosaurs, there's really nothing stopping me. So, prepare to see a lot of Movies United this month. However, there will be one week where there won't be Movies United, which is the week after this one, where I will do some Jua fixes, because I think I let people wait enough on that. Although, I, I okay, so judging from the vote, the, the little comments I love, the comments from the last episode, people want to see sauropods next. Now, do, do you want to see long sauropods or the tall sauropods? Because I'm not covering them both in the same video. So just a answer that, in the, if you're, if, if a Jewel Fixes fan is actually watching that, this video, then, uh, just, uh, just say which one. Tall or long? And since I'm going to be focusing on re-uploading episodes of Movies United, I think that should give me more time to, fo to, f to focus my attention a lot more on uh, a dinosaur story. Actually, wait, there is, I just remembered. I should focus my attention on this skit that I'm doing with Space Raptors Infinite that will upload on his channel when it's done. So, yeah, I should focus on that first. Then I can focus 100% on a dinosaur story. I am still working on it, but it's kind of going at a glacial pace just because, well, it's, it's a very big project, and uh, also I'm, I'm a very lazy guy. But don't worry, it is coming, and I do plan to release it this summer. Let, let's hope I don't eat my own words later on. Repaints is another thing I've been focusing a lot on. You already know about my uh, Yang Chuanosaurus Tiny repaint. And a lot, judging by the comments, a lot of you really like this repaint. So that, that just encourages me to do more. In fact, I actually have a whole box full of dinosaurs. Minus Hook Fang, I just want to give him the black, the black stripes that he's supposed to have. A whole box of dinosaurs that I'm ready to just repaint, give a Dinosaur uh, King repaint. Although I do have some uh, not regular dinosaurs that I just uh, sort of just gave a touch up. Like this Tarbosaurus here. This is honestly one of my favorite, favorite uh, dinosaurs from Mattel. And I just thought, hmm, 
Well, your underbelly isn't fully painted, and that's just basically what I did. I just took your belly and painted it all the color that it's supposed to be. And now you just look 100% better. And the painted toenails, and then a, even some little black spots on the little nubs in your tail. And that just makes the Tarposaurus look a whole lot better. It was already really cool, but now it looks even more cool. I also fully repainted my mirror guy. So my thought process for this one was like, it's black and it's got it's got like a black color. And I thought, hmm, wouldn't it be funny if I took my Stego Reaper idea from Jewel Fixes and then made that into the mirror guy? But then I thought, hmm, but this guy's so small. Wait a second. What if I took Death? The, what if I took Lord Death's uh, son and then just made him like the like Death the Kid Agaya? And that, that was basically my thought process. And then thus I made a. Miragaya Reaper, a junior, junior Stego Reaper. I mean, I painted his toes, I gave, I, I, before I all I did was paint his, like, back with the black. And that was it, that just made him look all like a complete figure already. But then I painted every, I painted all the spikes gray, I painted all of the plates white and gave him the, the Lord Death sort of face. Just to give him that little pattern. Painted over the white patterning on his eye and replaced it with and even his eye itself and replaced it with a yellow one painted his beak gray and then did some dry brushing on the the legs and just like death the kid he only has uh these little white stripes on one side of his head because death the kid is asymmetrical which is ironic because he is obsessed with symmetry Oh, my, bro my brother's actually really waiting for me to do some random skit with this guy and just grab some Death the Kid voice clips and then just throw it onto the Mirror Gaia. And then he'll just be like obsessed with symmetry or something. So yeah, two new repaints. I'm uh, really happy with the tar with how the Tarbosaurus turned out. Uh, I'm okay with how the, 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 Mirror the Mirror Gaia turned out. I don't think it's my best work. I, I think it's a good idea. It's good. To look at something and always have that mentality of like, mm, I could I could do better next time because otherwise you'll come off as like too cocky. You have to like make sure you like uh, always look to improve yourself. But if everyone says it's a masterpiece, then uh, well, you can't really deny it. You just have to roll with it because this looks awesome. Honestly, I think I might peak from. I think this is my peak. My first was my best, and everything else after is trash. Random side note, I saw in a random video, someone's like a Bakugan, Bakugan Beyblade video, someone stated that they hate Bakugan, and then the reason for hating Bakugan was just so hilarious. I hate Toy Bak- the, the comment said, I hate Toy Bakugan because they always block the ba they always take up space in the Beyblade section, and that was just such a funny reason to hate Bakugan. Bakugan are terrible because they replace Beyblades. Kind of like how I felt for like- Jurassic World toys were replaced by minions, like, a long time ago. That was kind of annoying. Here's another random fun fact. My little stages ha actually have metal on- or have metal be like, metal things that support them. And I just decided, hey, I'll just throw out my Bakugan up here. And then the newest Bakugan are really fun to stick up here because they don't- Usually it's like, it's supposed to be the base, but now it's like on their backs and stuff so I can make some- Really funny things, like Trox is just forever hanging on with his teeth. Trox is just such a funny Bakugan toy. I, I just realized you have bullet holes. That's not cool. That is really not cool. Sure, old Bakugan have bullet holes too, but it's like incorporated pretty well into their design that you, that you can barely like see it. Like look at Titanium Dragonoid. He only has one bullet hole and it's so, it's so well hidden that it's like not an eyesore. Or under their feet, where it could be hidden when you just roll it out. Trox just has them on his face. That That's not good. Oh my, ugh. These, these newer Bakugan just continue to disappoint me. And that's pretty much it for news and update. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you, uh, well, tomorrow when I do another Jua video and a Disney Heroes video. And then after that will be three episodes of Movies United back to back. And then after that... Some, uh, uh, let's see, Jua Fixes, which is, like, after the week after, and then and then the week after that will just be non-stop Movies United, so that I can work on a dinosaur story and that one collab. Bye!